All right, so let's take a look at what it would be like if we were going to, we had a standard normal distribution curve and we had a given z score, but we wanted to find the area to the right. Now, the key thing to remember here is that in, when we're looking at, let me just clear that off. Oops. When we're looking at our table E, our table E only shows us the area or the percent to the left. So these numbers inside of here are the area or the percent to the left of a given z-score. So same thing here, these are only to the left. So when we come back to our problem and we realize, oh, well, we're taking a look at the area to the right, it's still the same process. We're still going to find out the percent for this area. We're still going to find out the percent for that area, but then what we'll do is we'll take that, that percent and we'll subtract it. We'll take 100 minus our percent and we'll find our answer. Let's take a look at an example. So here we go. We have a given situation. I have a z-score of a negative 1.14. So I want to find the area to the right. I want to find out how much of that is. Now remember one more time, if I started here, this would be 0%. If I went right here, this would be 100%. So we're just applying this concept. That represents 100% of the data. So we can move from there. So negative 1.14. So what is the area under the curve from 0 to that z-score? So we come back to our table E. On table E, oops. Let's, let's erase this. On my table E, uh, I had a z-score of negative 1.14. So I grab my, my straight edge, whatever you want to use, negative uh, 1.1. And put the 4 on the end. So my percentage is 0 0.1271, which is also known as 12.71 percent. So we come back over to our problem. So on our problem, we know that this part right here is 12.71 percent. So if we want to find what's left over to the right, we've got to subtract that from 100. So now we take one to find this area in the gold, we take 100 minus our 12.71 and we find out that the area to the right, this area here in gold is, I had to pull my calculator out, is 87.29%. That's how we find the area to the right under a normal distribution curve. Now, let me just address what they said in our problem here. You'll notice they didn't say use 100, they said subtract from 1. So, if I come back over here, they say subtract from 1. Well, the deal is, is this. It, this right here is 0 of the, of the normal curve. This is the 1 whole. This is 0%. This is 100%. So we add a decimal, and we move that over two times. That's how our 1 turns into 100, and then 0 is 0. So, you know, if I came back to this problem here, and we go back to the original situation, this was 0 0.1271 from the t from table E. So then we'd come over here and we'd say 1 minus 0 0.1271, which would give us 0 0.8729. And then we would take that, that decimal and we move that decimal over 1, 2 times, and we get our 87.29. So my thing is, is that I just, I just like to work the percentages. It just, it's a little bit neater for me, a little bit cleaner. So, um, you know, use it either way and just feel comfortable and just know that this is a percent, this is a decimal. Feel comfortable going back and forth between the two.